Luciana, how come you haven't moved out of my family's house yet? Excuse me? What kind of rude question is that? Well, I have some news for you. Starting today, I'm going to be living at my parents' house again. What? You can't be serious. I never heard anything about how you'd be returning here to stay with all of us. Well, I did hear a rumor, but that was about you coming next month for a short visit. What made you change your mind? Oh, you know, I just have so much free time right now, so I thought I might come earlier than expected. And when I called my mom to tell her I'd be coming, she mentioned that you were still living in their house with them, and I was appalled. So you and my brother are still sharing that house with my parents? Yeah, and the plan was to keep living with both your parents for the foreseeable future. And, well, we did hear about how you planned to come back here and give birth to your baby, but we never heard anything about how you were planning on coming back today. Now, I don't think anyone is ready for you yet. To tell you the truth, I thought you had left that house a long time ago, Luciana. But now it seems like nothing has changed at all, and that's just pathetic. Huh? Pathetic? What do you mean by that? I understand that your room isn't prepared for you to stay yet, but that's only because you came a month before we had anticipated. So why do you have to say things are pathetic because of me? I had nothing to do with it. Don't act like you're innocent, Luciana. Are you really that careless? I've already seen my room, and it looks like you've all just jumped all your stuff in there and left it like a junkyard. Well, no one has been using that room for ages, so we didn't want to let the space go to waste. We also all assumed that you wouldn't be back until next month, so we haven't made any arrangements for you yet. For some reasons, it seems that none of you are as happy about me coming home as I initially thought. What's with that attitude from you, Luciana? Would you stop pretending like I'm not a member of this family, please? If anything, I have more of a claim to this house than you or my brother do. I'm not trying to act like you're not welcome or not valued here. I'm just explaining to you why your room isn't ready yet, and that's all. Is that so? Well, there's no escaping this one, right? You must be so envious of me. Envious of you? What are you talking about now? You are barren, right, Luciana? What? I know that you are green with envy of me because you can't have a child of your own due to you being barren. But just because you're a defective woman doesn't mean you can keep resenting me, okay? I'm so very sorry that I was able to conceive this easily right under your nose. No one ever accused me of being jealous of you for conceiving a child, Myra. If anything, you saying something like that to me is quite painful. I've actually been very happy about learning that you're going to have a baby soon and wanted to express my happiness for you. That's just a bunch of lies. <laughs> you despise the fact that I'm pregnant and you're not. And that's why this house is such a mess. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? I feel like you've lost your mind here and are just inventing things about this situation. I'm not inventing anything about you and the house, Luciana. It's all true, right? But this is very frightening having to share the same house with someone like you. Frightening? What about me is so scary for you? You are sterile, making you incapable of carrying a child. And that's made you even more jealous of me and my baby, right? Right now, I don't feel like I can be comfortable and peaceful in the house. I'm sorry to ask this, but do you think you can vacate the house for me? What? What are you really talking about now? What's so wrong about me asking something like that? I only want you gone for as long as it takes for me to deliver my baby and then leave this house for good. Just go find somewhere else for the next few months and stay there while I enjoy my time living and relaxing with my parents. Could you please not suggest something like that to me? I don't have any ill will towards you. So please stop assuming that I'm so jealous of you and let's just focus on helping you move back in. Both Jack and I have no intention of leaving this house. So you're just going to have to accept that and learn to coexist with the rest of us here. I don't really care about Jack having to leave the house or not. I'm only asking that you be the one to get out of the house. You're only going to be back for a short while to have some rest before giving birth to your baby. And you want me to leave the house during that period? I feel as though I'm the only one here getting screwed over by your plan. Well, it's my family's house after all. I have every right to move back into that place whenever I want and choose who I want to keep and who I want to kick out. I am very well aware that this place is your family's home, but that kind of attitude you have about your right to this place is way too selfish. Well, whatever. We can discuss this more when we're all at the house. I'll help you realize just the kind of role you have in my family. 
my role in this family, I'm not going to be lectured on my place in this family by someone like you, okay? Do you finally understand your lowly position in this family? Or do you need another reminder? How could you do such a thing? Myra, you just slapped me across the face and threw me out of the door like a piece of trash. I'm going out for a while. And by the time I will come back, I want you to pack up all your belongings and get out of my sight. I never want to see your pathetic face again. So hurry up and do as I say. I deserve to be back home resting and pampering myself before I deliver the precious grandchild of my parents. But you, you're nothing but a leech, a burden, a waste of space. You have no claim to this house or this family. But you have no right to use violence and intimidation as a way of forcing me to leave. A barren and bitter woman like you is a dangerous thing to have around a pregnant woman like me. I see it now. You can't help yourself but mock me and humiliate me at every chance. And that's why you've resorted to calling me vile names and even attacking me physically in the house. You'll pay for what you've done to me, Myra. I can see that there's no way for us to coexist peacefully in this house anymore. And that's why I've made it clear what needs to happen. You have to leave this house because I can't stand the sight of you. If something were to happen to me or my baby, what would I do? I'm the one carrying the most precious and valuable thing to this family right now. I know you can't have a baby of your own, but don't you dare take out your frustration and resentment of not being a real woman on me. I have never wanted to take out any negative feelings on you. I wish you would just stop using my infertility as the basis for all your accusations and insults against me, okay? Hitting me because of your false assumptions and prejudices about me? That is not acceptable, Myra. I'm just terrified of you because a woman with pent-up jealousy and hatred over me having a baby could do anything to harm me or my baby when they're born. You're really causing me a lot of anxiety and stress, so you have to go. I think you'd be better off having that baby in a lonely and isolated place. What? How can you say something so cruel and heartless to me? I might just have to tell Jack and Mom about what you just said. You can say whatever you want, but I'm your mother. What? Mom? I never imagined that my own daughter would be treating her sister-in-law in such a horrible way. But I guess I failed miserably in raising you into someone who has decency or compassion. Wait a minute, Mom. You have a complete misunderstanding of the situation. Were you the one who just said that to me? That I should have my baby in a place where no one cares about me? That's not very loving or motherly of you to say, okay? What's wrong with you? Are you sure that Luciana isn't manipulating you right now and making you think that I'm the villain here? All she's done is showing me all the messages you both have been exchanging and nothing else. I'm so ashamed and disappointed in you, Myra. You're ashamed and disappointed in me? Oh, don't be so harsh, Mom. You're not welcome here anymore while you're expecting your baby. What? I want you to stay away from this house for the rest of your pregnancy and have that baby somewhere else. And I'm sure the only reason you came here a month earlier than we had planned is because something went wrong between you and your husband. Well, you have no right to vent your anger and frustration on someone like Luciana, okay? I wasn't venting anything on her, Mom. I'm sure you had no idea about this before coming back here, but Luciana has been a huge help in providing financial support for this home. Your dad and I are really grateful for what she's been doing to help us. What? Luciana has been helping you guys financially? Does she really earn that much money on her own? She does indeed. But that's not the issue here, Myra. The issue is that you really made me furious today. It's the fact that you behave so atrociously towards Luciana. All because she can't conceive a child of her own? Well, I'm not ever going to pardon your actions over such a lame excuse like that. You certainly don't know this, but when I was in your shoes, I had been tormented by the possibility of being infertile or not. Huh? You were, Mom. But you still managed to have both Jack and I, right? And that was after I underwent some treatments to help my infertility. I had been married to your dad a whole decade. During that time, we never had any offspring. Now that you bring it up, you might have mentioned some of that story a long time ago. Sorry, but I didn't pay any attention to that nonsense. I was very grateful that after all the effort that they had invested in me, 
I was able to have the two of you. But having to witness that my own daughter is going to use infertility as the grounds for acting like a complete monster to someone else, it's devastating, Myra. I never anticipated that you'd be the kind of woman to do this to another woman. I'm not only heartbroken, but I'm in utter disbelief now. I'm going to throw all your things out right now. What, Mom? What do you mean? You're going to throw all my things right now? Tell me, don't you think you're going way overboard by doing that to me? I'm the one going overboard? What are you talking about, Myra? If you find that you can't stand the sound of that, then you get your ass back here right now and get all your things and leave this place. And I want you to go up to Luciana and apologize to her for both treating her like a complete jerk and for hitting her in the face. What? Please, just wait a minute, Mom. You know that I'm very close to having my baby now, right? You have another couple of months or so, right? I know that, but that's only a few more months if I'm kicked out of my own parents' house now. What am I going to do about myself and the baby? I was really thrilled to finally be home where you could take care of me all day and I could just lounge around and enjoy my life. Stop trying to make yourself look like the one that deserves any spoiling. I'm throwing your things out of the house right now. Hold on. You would never actually toss out a pregnant woman's things, right? I'm on my way back to the house right now, so please take some time to cool down and we can talk all that over again. Your mom has already gone ahead and started tossing out all your things. Myra, you did a really splendid job getting yourself kicked out of the house. Huh? Is this you again, Luciana? What the hell have you made my mom believe all of a sudden? It's all because of you creating a huge misunderstanding that she wants me to stay away from her house. And it's totally justified for her to want you out of her house, right? Huh? What the hell does that all mean? You're only starting to infuriate me even more now by talking to me like that. Say what you'd like. I never told your mom anything to make her act this way. It all happened just as your mom said. She only had a look at my phone where all the messages between you and me were displayed. And that's what triggered her. Besides you both talking down to me for being infertile and also hitting me in the face as a way of teaching me a lesson is not what your mom finds acceptable. No mom would find that all right, actually. Oh, please, Luciana. I just wanted to come home and get rid of the vermin that's been infesting my parents' house. I didn't think my mom would get angry at me for trying to help her and dad out. Honestly, the fact that you're even still living in that house with her after all these years is a complete nightmare for me. I'm not living here because I wanted a place to relax and make your parents work for me. I'm here because I had to be here living with them. I understand that as of right now, I don't have any children of my own, but I've been making up for that by working my ass off all day at work and have been using that money to help your parents in this house. Last year, Jack went without a job for a long time. And during that whole time, I had to practically support everyone in this house. Huh? He didn't have a job? And just like I expected, nobody told you about that. I mean, it shouldn't really matter whether you knew about that little fact or not. Right now, since it's not going to affect your behavior or anything. What are you implying? Last year, your brother's company that he was working for went bankrupt. And for a while, he had been jobless. But even when that happened, I stepped up my game and worked even harder in order to support everyone in the house. I was allowed to live in your parents' house after all, with them. So I already knew I had to work for their sake. But when he lost his job, it only increased the amount of work I needed to put in. I never knew things like that were happening, but you're right to have never told me about that because it was nothing to do with me anyway. You're bringing up a bunch of things I never even knew about before. So how do you think that's going to help this situation now? I just find it amusing, while also tragic, that while you never knew a thing about what's been going on with your family here, you tried coming home, uninvited to us, and then became violent with me when I was only trying to state some facts about your room. All I can think of you as now is some kind of violent and easily provoked child. Fortunately, I'll probably never have to deal with you again after today. I hope you do well giving birth to your baby. I'm leaving now. What are you talking about? Are you just going to let me be kicked out of the house? Excuse me? Luciana, it's your fault that my mom is mad at me. You go and get her to stop acting like a beast and let me stay in the house again. 
How am I supposed to cope with myself all on my own if I'm forced to leave? Weren't you the one that hit me in the face and told me to get out of your house a little while ago? I can see that you totally forgot about that little fact. Seriously, Myra? What are you trying to achieve now by saying something as selfish as what you just said? Your mom has already lost all respect she had for you as her daughter. And I don't think you're going to get her to change her mind on wanting you gone. And in my case, even I don't want you living here with me anymore because I'm afraid you might try and attack me again. And just to make sure that you don't try and get any kind of revenge for what's happening to you, I'm going to call the police and tell them what you did to me. Huh? You're going to call the police? Why are you taking things way out of line here? I think that it's well within my rights to tell the police about you hitting me like that. You literally assaulted me by doing that. Assaulted you? You are being way too melodramatic about all that. I was just giving you a little slap on the face to let you know I meant business about wanting you out of the house. I'm sure that someone like you who has no control over their emotions would never be able to comprehend the kind of harm you just inflicted. But if you'd like to know just the kind of harm you did to me, you knocked out one of my teeth. Really? It was that hard of a slap? It wasn't even a slap. You clenched your fist and hit me hard enough to both knock out a tooth and tear up the inside of my mouth. Well, I never thought it'd cause that kind of damage. And what do you mean? I can't control my emotions? That's normal for someone who's pregnant with a child. Let's make this clear, Myra. What you've done to me today was totally unwarranted. And I think it's time you stop using your pregnancy as an alibi for everything, because the police are sure not going to buy that. I'm really not sure what went wrong with you and your husband that made you lose your mind. But no matter what it is, you were not welcome back in this house. Hold on for just a second, Luciana. I've been going through a really rough time lately. My husband has been accusing me that the baby I'm carrying isn't his own. And so he kicked me out of the house for allegedly cheating on him. That's why I actually left the house before he told me to get out, in order to hopefully get him to calm down a little. But if you guys kicked me out of the house, then where else would I be able to go? I don't care. What? If you really hadn't been cheating on him, then you wouldn't have been running away right? And honestly, I don't care about what happened over at your house with your husband. I'm only concerned about how you assaulted me and knocked out a tooth of mine. I think by this point, you'd be better off cutting the crap and turning yourself in to either your husband or the police. Now, good luck with that. I can't wait to see how all your actions come back to haunt you soon. In the end, Myra's mom never did end up forgiving her for what she'd done to me and went to Myra's husband to find out what was going on. She was shocked and angry when she discovered that Myra had cheated on him with another man and gotten pregnant. When talking to him, she learned that he was in the middle of filling out divorce papers and would soon no longer have to deal with Myra's lies and betrayal. He told her that he had tried to make their marriage work, but Myra was too selfish and irresponsible to change. Had Myra just told us all the truth about the situation and moved in peacefully, her mom would have been willing to care for the baby, even if it wasn't Myra's husband's. She loved her daughter and wanted to support her, even if she didn't approve of her choices. But even with all of the help she could have offered, the fact that Myra treated me in such an awful way made it impossible for her mom to forgive her actions. She felt that Myra had not only hurt her husband, but also me, her best friend. She couldn't stand to see me suffer because of Myra's selfishness. And for that, she was kicked out of her parents' house with all her things and forced us to leave. She had lost everything because of her mistake.